안녕하십니까 타임포럼 유튜브 채널 시청자 여러분 반갑습니다 저는 키미세븐입니다 오늘은 저희가 시계 리뷰가 아니라 좀 특별한 시간을 마련을 했습니다 프레드릭 콘스탄트의 CEO인 닐스 에거링을 모시고 저희가 인터뷰를 나눠보도록 하겠습니다 Niels, and welcome to the Korea. And please briefly introduce yourself to Korean watch fans and the people watching this video. And tell us how do you feel about coming to Korea for the first time? So, uh, first of all, thank you for uh, hosting me. Uh, I'm a, it's a pleasure for me to be here and to present our brand to you and to the Korean market. So, my name is Niels, I'm uh, Dutch originally, uh, so I moved over 11 years ago to Switzerland, working 25 years in the watch industry mm -hmm. and 11 years for the brand Frédéric Constant. Okay. Uh, I've been growing the business from a commercial director mm -hmm. uh, position and back in 2018 I've been appointed to take over the CEO position. Okay. It's already five years ago. Oh, good. Four years ago. Good so. for you. Okay. <laughs> Uh, we can talk about Baselworld. Sure. Baselworld has been cleft, actually. So many of them left. So, yeah. And uh, Freddy Constant also decided to leave the Baselworld and to join the Watches and Wonders Geneva from the next year. So do you believe that uh, the offline event or physical event is a still important issue? Yeah, definitely. I think Basel was for us anyhow a very important moment mm -hmm. where uh, press, retail comes together yes. in a week uh, and be brainwashed fully into watches. Mm -hmm. uh, what helps the whole industry. Uh, unfortunately, some leading brands took a decision to move away from it and it started to fall apart. Uh, what I regret. Now we have the opportunity with uh, Watches and Wonders to join. Mm -hmm. We are going to join in, uh, in a very nice setting. What is and will be become uh, one of the more luxury uh, events in the world. Yes, it is. Luxury events. And it's in our hometown, Geneva, because the factory is in Geneva. Mm -hmm. So we are very happy to have like that moment again where you really have face to face time mm -hmm. with retail press and to share your novelty, your newness, the exciting moment to, to meet each other. Okay. It seems that uh, Frederick Constant has uh, two different kind of characters or DNA, I think. So on the one hand, very innovative and challenging. For example, you have launched the Heartbeat, uh, hybrid manufacturer, and smartwatch, and uh, NFT. And on the other hand, uh, produce uh, a lot of watches with a classic design yeah. and good value for money. So how? to two different kind of characters live together? Uh, well, so I think uh, we are a young watch brand. Mm -hmm. We are existing for 35 years. Yes. Next year we celebrate our anniversary 35 years. Um, what I think it's, it's important, we, we stay classic in the way we are uh, producing watches, exhibiting watches. Although with the high life that I'm wearing, it's already more sports chic. Mm -hmm. Strongly DNA driven, very important to keep your DNA, so okay. you have an existing customer. But by being young, we felt that by pushing innovation helps us to create awareness. Mm -hmm. But also by innovating, you see it around you, who's innovating is winning. Yes. Because people are interested in newness, mm -hmm. not only by design, but also by functionality or driven, in this case, by caliber. And I think those two um, are always going together, no matter what kind of DNA you're, you're carrying in a brand. Mm -hmm. Innovation is leading. Okay. So yeah, we have been doing a lot of uh, innovation on movements. Uh, NFT, very interesting that you say <laughs> that. We were one of the earlier one uh, brands yes, who did yes, that. Yes, yes it is. We sold out in one hour, or I think 24 hours. Oh really? No, 24 hours, sorry. Mm -hmm. We sold out all 888 pieces. Yes, right. I was never expecting that. Are you surprised? I was very surprised. Okay. I was in a metaverse uh, presenting myself oh, really? in an, in an uh, avatar. Oh. 
and uh, there you had like limited access. Everybody wanted to join and we sold, so it was very interesting. It was very fun actually. So you're gonna have uh, another? Yeah, we but we might we, we might have one uh, next year. We celebrate 35 years anniversary. We definitely gonna do an, uh, again something. Yeah, sure. Okay, sure. good. Full of excitement. <laughs> <laughs>Okay, let's talk about the watches, monolithic oscillator. That was really fantastic and I was really surprised that that kind of watches launched from very constant. Yeah. So can you tell us about the story behind the monolithic oscillator and why the Freddy constant make it and how? Yeah. So again, we go back to innovation. Um, back in 2004, we started our own manufacturer caliber. Yes. Um, and we did that by collaborating. Mm -hmm. um, and your own manufacturer caliber is unique because it gives you unlimited growth potential mm -hmm. and important to give you flexibility in your designs. Mm -hmm. So you can really design your own dial watch based on applying the movement. It's an expensive thing to do. That's where you see mostly high-end brands mm -hmm. are able to yes. do money for two calibers. Now, by constantly pushing innovations, we have been launching um, a perpetual calendar, flyback chrono, tourbillon, tourbillon, uh, tourbillon, perpetual calendar, uh, world timer, all calibers in-house. Then back in 2017, 18, uh, we met uh, via the incubator in Holland, in the Netherlands. Oh, really? Um, a startup company that is specialized in flexible mechanisms for the watch industry. Mm -hmm. And if you look at the export mechanical watches Swiss made, 97% mm -hmm. or almost 99% mm -hmm. have the conventional assortment. Yes. Beating Heart, called the conventional assortment, carries 26 crucial components. Mm -hmm. Balance wheel, spring, anchor, and the startup that we met in Holland at the Technical University Delft, the, the, the CEO and the founder, Nima Tulu, mm -hmm. he told uh, us that he was capable of replacing that by one single oscillator. Just one? One single oscillator. Okay. You, can, you can compare it a bit with <coughs> the origami uh, bird. It's folded out of one paper, one mm -hmm. page paper, mm -hmm. but if you pull the tail, the, 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 the wings are yep. going to move. That's a bit the same with the oscillator. The spring, the anchor is all combined in one single disc of yes. silicon. The di ma major difference is we prepared this conception in a new conception. So the 700 we had, the 900 we had, and this is placed in an 800 conception. Okay. New movement, 810 was born. Mm -hmm. yeah. um, it, it beats, so let's say a quartz movement beats one second by one second. Tick, mm -hmm. tick, tick. It's so like a dead beat. Yeah, and hard, and, and, uh, uh, a regular automatic beats on four hertz. Yes. Eight tiny steps by second. Right. Tick, 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 tick. Our watch is beating on 40 hertz, 10 mm -hmm. times quicker. So it beats 80 times per second. You don't see the movement. Our no, eyes, no, our eyes can, can measure 20 to 25, maximum 30 hertz. Mm -hmm. But 40 hertz, you cannot see moving. No. So the second hand doesn't walk; it smoothly slides over the dial, and that makes it unique. 80 hour power reserve. Mm -hmm. It's silicon, fully anti-magnetic. Yes. No impulse from magnetism. Uh, it it beats on 40 hertz, 288 thousand beats per hour mm -hmm. and potentially in the years to come it should be the most accurate watch. Fantastic. Ever. So they're a massive innovation and uh, when we launched last year in March we sold out in two months. Oh, really? 1800 units. Yeah. So we're gonna produce more? Or? We are still producing. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. <laughs> because the trick was that we I, I was hoping to sell it uh, <coughs> through the year mm -hmm. but it was such a big bang uh, that we underestimated a little bit more the, the attraction from the consumer and it was very successful. So yes, we are continuing to produce more and we are going to bring new models also next year. Congratulations <coughs> for Thank huge you. success. Thank you. Could you explain 
uh, the development process of a Korean edition and does Frederick Constant do the same thing in other regions or other countries? Um, no, we don't do it for every country or every region. I think Korea has always been a very strong key market for us. Okay. And, uh, by building key markets, we have been doing certain specials mm -hmm. that are uh, attractive for this specific market. Mm -hmm. We do it for the US, we can do it for Japan, for instance, mm -hmm. we do it in France. Okay. But Korea, we do it specially here for a long time. Okay. And uh, how does it work? Uh, we really work closely with the team here in Korea. Mm -hmm where they give input about certain tastes, diameter, colors, or movements. Mm -hmm. And then we do proposals. Okay. Based on those proposals, they check okay. the retail consumer, mm -hmm. they give a confirmation, and then we start uh, the production of samples. Perfect. After sample, they give the approval, and then we start the production. Okay. And uh, after my trip of, uh, of today and yesterday, uh, we have uh, also a nice manufacturer complication that we're probably going to work on for next year. Uh, for the Korean market, yeah. A complication? No, it's going to be an existing movement, but we're going to do uh, a so special for the market here with special color. Color variation. Color variation, a strap variation. Uh, so it's going to be a whole story to emphasize the 35 years anniversary of our brand. Okay. And the, uh, together with the Korean market. I can't wait to. I hope so. Okay. Okay. Frederick Constance produces uh, complications, for example, Trubion and Perpetual Calendar and Chronograph uh, for themselves. So, but uh, you provide them very reasonable price. How is it possible, and uh, what is the reason for it? Um, the, 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 I think the, the main reason is, first of all, that uh, we would like to offer a fair price mm -hmm. watched with a high value. Okay. It's always been the, the model that we have and we aim to constantly have that. Back in 2004, we started our manufacturing complication by collaboration. We worked with the Dutch watchmaking school mm -hmm. and we worked with the Geneva watchmaking school. Okay. We brought them together and we asked them to prepare a base conception of a manufacturer watch with our internal people. Mm -hmm. By that collaboration, we have been able to do it on an accessible way. Mm -hmm. And I think that's important. From there, we started to really work and perfectionist the movement only with our internal people. By doing this with internal people, and by doing it in large-scale production and mm -hmm. taking less margin on our side, okay. we have been able to offer it for an accessible price. Mm -hmm. And still today, we are the only one in our price segment who is doing, for instance, three and a half thousand Wiltimer calibers annually production, who is doing thousand perpetual calendars annually. Those quantities help us to keep the price accessible. So, you you are not going to make it more complication. You just keep the level of the productions. No, we we definitely going to for do for the future. Uh, yeah, we definitely going to do more complication, but it's always based on the three principal concepts we have. Mm -hmm. And uh, I think many watch brands making manufacture calibers as complicated possible. Mm -hmm. We make it simplicity. Yes. Yes, it is. It's by simplicity, it's efficient in the production process. Mm -hmm. And it's also uh, durable in terms of quality. Durable. So uh, that's for us very important. Okay, let's talk about the, the manufacturing movement. Okay. So the power reserve of manufacturing movements is not long enough compared to the latest movement in the market. So do you have a plan to make a new movement with the long power laser? Yeah, so we have, first of all, we work with uh, a few uh, options. Uh, if you look at automatics, we work with uh, Celita. Yes. Celita itself is already improving their power reserve. Okay. Then we work with the Jouperet. That's very. The Jouperet has uh, the G100 and the L100, is our sister company. Oh, yes. yes. In the sister company with the it's our sister, Yeah, Citizen is a shareholding company. Then you have uh, Le Jouperet, Arnold and Son Angelus, and mm -hmm. they make movements. And those movements, we can call it for us as a sister company, as an, as an inter-company movement. Mm -hmm. They have the L100 G100, the chronograph with a column wheel, 
that we have here in, a, in oh, sorry in this yes, watch that yes. I'm wearing. 64 hour power reserve, mm -hmm. and they have the three hands automatic version mm -hmm. with 68 hour power reserve. 68. 68. So you see already that's going up, but we still keep an accessible pricing. Then our manufacturer uh, uh, calibers we have are 42. Hour 42. Power reserve. Yes. Yeah. So, but you will see in the years to come that, of course, with that also an update of the movement and it will go to 64 hour power reserve. Um, and there we also go to do new introduction of movements. So, the ye three years to come, we will have seven to eight new in house calibers to introduce. Okay. Okay, let's talk about. The classic World's Time manufacturer. It's been 10 years the classic World's Time manufacturer was launched. So yeah. there's almost no change in terms of design, appearance, and specifications. So, what is the secret of long run of classic World's Time manufacturer, do you think? Um, I think it is, is one of the most iconic calibers we have. Okay. World Timer is a very uh, attractive. A caliber. Mm -hmm. it's, it's loved by a large group within uh, the, the, the watch connoisseurs. We started back in 2012, this year we celebrate 10 years anniversary and this year we do a record year of production. Mm -hmm. Almost close to between three and a half and four thousand uh, uh, watches we have been produced for the World Timer specifically. Mm -hmm. That's a large number for a manufacturer caliber, yes. if you think about it. The success behind it is that I think, uh, and I can give you one example here, is that uh, it's a very iconic case. Yes. Although it's 42 millimeters, mm -hmm. it's well appreciated. Yes. And the case is very recognizable for Frederic Constant. Mm -hmm. Alligator strap, and the movement is fully adjustable through the crown. So, city disc, date, hour, and minutes are all adjustable via the crown. Yes. No extra pusher. Again, simplicity. Mm -hmm. Then the price, if you look at the finishing of the dial and, and the beauty of this, the price is just below 4,000 US dollar. Fantastic. It's still a very fair price. Yes. So by celebrating uh, 10 years anniversary, this is the best seller we have. And the 10 years anniversary, we introduced this limited edition. Where we have been bringing the two worlds together. So the first edition was a silver dial. The best seller is the blue, and we brought those two together in a limited edition for 718 pieces. Okay. Same price, we have a gold version and this stainless steel. Mm -hmm. Same price, just below 4,000 euro. But it's a beautiful piece. That's amazing. Thank you. And I think one thing that I can share, this is uh, called the Globetrotter. Globetrotter. Yeah, we have two versions. Mm -hmm. We have 10 pieces limited edition, and we have 300 pieces limited edition. Okay. Both are the same. The only difference is that this one carries the airport codes. Airport. So, for, in, for instance, here you have LUX, and LUX stands for Los Angeles Airport. We have GVA, is Geneva Airport. So you have all the airport codes. This is the first time we do that. The first time we do a full black version with a titanium sandblasted case mm -hmm. and a black and, let's say, anthracite world map. Anthracite. This one will be 300 pieces limited edition. The same execution, but then the city discs, the, mm. so the real names, okay. will be online available in 10 versions. Okay. And this one only in store. Okay. So this is the last one that we are going to, uh, to celebrate the 10 years anniversary of this year of the World Timer. Mm -hmm. And then uh, we will continue next year with no longer these kind of pieces. So it's going to be an interesting development next year. So next year you have the regular core products. Mm -hmm. And next year you have another limited edition, but like this, the black version, we will not do. Okay, Nis, this is the very last question and also very personal. So you have been, it's 10 years, it's been 10 years. Yeah, almost 11 years. Yeah. yeah, almost 10 years you've been joined to Freddy Constance. So, so what is your next step? What is your next goal? Oh, well, first of all, I'm privileged to be in this position I am today. Um, and I'm only there because of uh, I have a great team around me. Um, mm -hmm. I think after the crisis, I, I was appointed in 2018, 19 was really the first year I was 
preparing my three-year plan. Okay. 20, we went on all through the crisis. So okay. I can tell you it was tough. Okay. And so I'm now we are out of the crisis. In the three years to come, I'm going to really bring the company to a higher level. Okay. Introduce in a very difficult time of unstable world politics uh, a strong portfolio of products, motivation within the team, uh, and grow. And hope I can offer beautiful timepieces for the consumers worldwide, but also specifically in Korea. Okay. So very excited. Fantastic. Good. Thank you. So um, I was very pleased to be here today. I'm here still a few days in Korea. I'm amazed about this country. Uh, sophistication, modern uh, dynamics. Love the food, by the way. So I would like to invite you to have a look at our brand in the shop. Have a look, uh, be inspired, uh, go through the collection and see quartz assortment, automatic assortment, especially also our manufacture complication. It's, I promise you, it's going to be a treat for your eye and I hope you can, I, you can be misleaded to buy one watch from us and then you will experience our brand. And I would like to, uh, to, to welcome you and then as a part of the family. Thank you very much.